Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and this video is to show you or to talk about um, the very, very long names in the AdWords keyword reports. Um, so if you go to analyze your, your, um, your keywords and your activity, um, what you want to do is um, on a very regular basis is instead of looking at the, the actual regular report of keywords which include just the list of the broad matches and phrase match and, ex and exact match, you want to go to the actual keyword details right here, search terms all, and actually look at the exact terms that you paid for and that were uh, showed up that showed up as a, as ads. Because broad matches are too broad, right? If you're trying to target in this case watch bands and and a, someone s typed in citizen watch bands, which is a specific brand name, um, you'll get a trigger on the regular reporting on broad match, but under this uh, you know, search de uh, keyword details report, you'll see the exact one. So you can really monitor more effectively. So this video wants to talk about the, uh, the search report, the keyword details, um, and the ones and the keywords that you can notice that have very, very long keywords, very, very long phrases, such as this one, citizen, men's, BM, that model number, eco drive, stainless steel, and synthetic leather watch strap. So it's kind of weird that you see a lot of these, um, or at least for us in the past, it was very weird to see very, very long terms that especially have a lot of searches in a very short time and have very, very low click-through rate. So um, the CTR here is much, much lower, 0.15, much lower from the 1.21 average in this specific case. So it doesn't make sense, um, while trying to dig at, at it in the past, it doesn't really make sense that so many people would search in the search network for such an exact long term and have very, very low click through rates. So we're kind of digging a little bit to understand and this video is to share this information. Um, so basically what these are in short and then I'll explain the detail of it is these terms are um, triggered by Google search partners, okay? Um, so basically, if you go to the settings of your specific campaign, you'll see these long terms only if you have under the networks the actual search partners. Include search partners check, checked, which uh, by default when you set up a new campaign it is, and um, we're kind of guessing that a lot of people actually have that uh, on. Um, so basically, uh, they're search partners. So now if we go back, let's go back to that. Okay, let's go to keywords and details and all. Okay, so um, now if we go to this term, so what? So now we know that they're uh, um, search partners, and we'll show you later exactly how we know that. Um, but it, it it's still a little strange that that two thousand people, almost two thousand, one thousand nine hundred ninety-seven people, in only a few weeks searched for that exact match. How many people really? use that exact very long one. So uh, from the research, we found out that even though it's checked off under the search network, it's more like a content network uh, ad. Um, and Google probably for very large uh, um, search partners provides it in this way. So it's kind of like a workaround or um, very, very strange thing because as an advertiser, you think that search partners are people who go to a search box and type in if it's ask.com, their search partner, or you know, obviously Google.com, things like that. So um, it's really not. So we found out that a really big partners such as Amazon and eBay and a few others have that status that they can kind of uh, trick the 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 reporting, or, or you know, it doesn't really seem uh, really accurate. So if you go and you take this entire term and you actually type it in Google, what you'll basically see um, in this case is go we we the exact term is basically the title or the product name of an Amazon listing, okay? And uh, as you may, may or may not know, Amazon is a search partner. And if you go to, uh, on the bottom of uh, many Amazon pages, many product pages, you'll see Google ads. So you'll see different Amazon ads and all this. But uh, if you're at this page, which is the, exactly our term, minus the quotes and the dashes, which I think they just strip off. Um, if you go to the bottom, let's see here. Um, this is an Amazon ad. If you see in the bottom, bottom left, you can see uh, Amazon-adsystem.com, which is, that's their own internal ads. But if you go lower down, 
um, you'll be able to see this, in this case, Vimeo Pro advertising. If I hover over it, you can see the URL on the bottom left of my uh, browser is doubleclick.net. So doubleclick.net is, a, is a, a Google company for advertising. Um, so what that means is they're showing ads. So going back to the actual number, um, that means that um, in, this, in this specific case, and it could be different because sometimes it's eBay ads or things like that, they were um, in, this, in our date range 2,000 times that our ad, whoops, our ad appeared on this specific page, okay? Or, or maybe a page that there, maybe there's multiple pages that have this specific uh, product name, okay? Um, so the, the reason of us having a very low click-through rate seems reasonable now that one, the ad could have been all the way to the bottom or maybe higher, and two, um, people who visit Amazon probably don't click on ads much and they want to stay within the, the the Amazon system. So that's why it seems that there's very, very low click-through rate. So um, I hope that kind of makes sense. So now if you go here, now I know that you know this page, this product has been viewed a lot of times by people. Um, and I can actually use that in, in different methods to maybe advertise on Amazon or do different things. So now I, I have interesting numbers. But um, what we want to do is, is a few things here. So one is understand if we want to keep on advertising, uh, what we want to do with that, if that's correct or all of that. So I'll give you a few examples of, of what we do, and then we'll go into Google Analytics and I'll show you how we understood uh, better the conversions and the ads and all of that stuff, okay? Um, so number one is sometimes uh, these, uh, you know, people might want to maybe pause these, um, these ads because they uh, reduce their click-through rate, thus maybe uh, changing the quality score, things like that. So before you do any kind of pausing, I would recommend to really track these keywords in a better manner. Um, so number one is uh, it, it is um, Google has mentioned, at least from, from what I've read for the, the documents, or not documents, but online pages, that search partner click-through rate does not affect Google.com uh, search network. So even this, even though this is low, supposedly, and we have I haven't tested that out yet, but Google mentions that it doesn't affect the click-through rate and the quality and all of that of the Google.com uh, network. So that's kind of an interesting thing. So uh, in the past, what we would do is we'd see this and we'd completely um, place this as a negative keyword, for example, right? Click here, place it as a negative keyword because we thought it would affect everything. In addition, um, we didn't know, it, it seems that here we have more columns for obviously conversions, e-commerce conversions are um, are actually cost per, conver per conversion sometimes was uh, very high and, and not desired or sometimes it was okay. So uh, we basically need a plug in analytics to understand it better. So this is the idea of um, these long terms. If you go down more, you'll see again another one right here, right? A thousand impressions and only seven clicks. So very, very low um, click through rate. Okay. So what we basically did is we found some code online uh, and we'll share it and we'll create an article and everything that basically lets you take Google Analytics and actually understand better where they're coming from. So you can decide if you want to keep the search partners or if you want to um, remove it or if you want to understand better a specific search partner, how it's performing. Okay. So um, let's go to, let's see here, let's go to Google Analytics, okay? Um, so basically what we did, and we'll share it in, at the on the description of YouTube, we'll create an article in the, in the near future, and we'll share the link so you can uh, kind of follow this whole thing. Uh, but bas basically in short, and the article again will explain more, is we went to, um, to Google Analytics and we created a new view, okay? We didn't wanna, uh, and we're gonna start creating some filters, but in order to understand better the search partners. So you don't want to create filters on your, your full account. You want to create another view, click on new view, and we created something here called PPC search partner. And in this view, uh, we basically created two filters. One is the search partner um, to include, uh, you know, just the match of the, the, the medium of either, you know, basically of a paid ad. And um, also included just a quick uh, advanced filter 
to understand and provide the URL better. So we'll show you in a second. So once you do that, and I'll explain more in the actual article, uh, if you go to that specific view, now you can see, um, let's see here, acquisition, all traffic. So now if I go to all traffic, now I can see, I can split the CPC into the specific search partner. So in this case, Amazon had 984 sessions and here's the users and the bounce rate um, and the average time and the sales itself. So for some reason, it doesn't really show sales. The only the all sales only show under the uh, CPC itself. So it's really not showing um, the sales under the specific one. So I don't know if I paid for a thousand visitors and I had zero sales or I had multiple ones. So um, the and you can see here eBay provides you know, search partner ads, so to search AOL.com. Here's another one for AOL, and of course, double click ones. So it's pretty interesting. So now you can see the search partners uh, in addition to the Google.com ones, right? So the actual search partners, Amazon and Wow and eBay and AOL and all that stuff. So um, what we basically did, because this code that, that we put under the new view and the filter doesn't really show much about if Amazon or search partners are um, providing you know, a good uh, conversion rate and a good traffic and things like that. What we wanna do here is go to conversion tab on Google Analytics, go to multi-channel funnels and look at the assisted conversions. And so if we look at that, um, and now I'm gonna filter by source medium because that's what we did in our filters. Now I can see that for example, Amazon's Amazon.com click through it actually had an even though it said in the report prior, um, it actually had a system conversion rate of five hundred dollars and of uh, last click or direct conversion value of a thousand. So even though in the report the other report didn't say anything, this is the report you want to look at. Um, and now you can kind of understand better. And I can filter maybe by you know specific landing page URLs of specific ads that I wrote, wrote uh, or that I ran, excuse me. Um, and now I can understand better if if I need to add negative keywords um, or completely disable search partners or things like that. So it's really really helpful, and this is a great thing to understand better what's going on with those very very long terms. So this is the idea. We're playing with more more ideas for reporting. And I uh, hope this video makes sense and we'll include more detail once we have a little, more, little bit more information and screenshots and an article uh, to explain it better. And of course, again, we'll include it in the YouTube uh, description. I uh, hope this makes sense. Hope this helps understand better. And uh, that's it. Thank you for listening to this video.